here, what's going on you guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Hold on a sec. Shit. That's some good shit! But why not? I'm only smoking this till the end of the year. I thought, fuck it. I'm gonna have a toke before I start the video. Doesn't happen very often, doesn't happen at all actually. Except for today. Ooh, she's been burning my fingers! Ah, and I can safely say the only reason that that happened is because I left half of a joint on the bench last night. Now, what we're going to do today, we're going to crack into some running backs. We're going to crack into probably, look, dare I say it, my favourite running back. I don't know if he's overtaken Leonard Fournette yet. He's certainly not overtaken Saquon. Actually, no, he is. No, I'll tell you what. I tell you what guys, my top three running backs as of this moment, Leonard Fournette, not because of his performances, but because he's just the man and I love him. Uh, Christian McCaffrey at number two, Saquon Barkley, a safe number three. And who am I going to go as number four? It's got to be a throw up between Philip Lindsay, just because he's cool. I actually, fuck, that's something we should do, look at his highlights. But anyway guys, you know, look, actually having a smoke probably wasn't a good idea because my mind's wandering already. We need to stay on task today. We're watching Christian McCaffrey. I've got a whole selection of his games, his best games from the season. They're all by NFL, which means none of them are going to be monetized, but we're going to watch them anyway. So Christian McCaffrey, I want to get a good gist on how he's been playing this season. He's had multiple, multiple 100-yard games, even a 200-yard game. So we're going to see all of that plus more. So stay tuned. Now, the first video that I was most interested in watching is actually not any highlights whatsoever. It's Christian McCaffrey finds inspiration in Bruce Lee. Is that because Bruce Lee stays fluid? You know what I mean? He doesn't, he's not too rigid. Does that mean Christian McCaffrey takes his tackles? You know, like Alvin Kamara, kind of limp? I have no idea, but we're gonna find out. Christian McCaffrey finds inspiration in Bruce Lee. Is it, is it the dedication to the sport? Let's find out, guys. This is the kind of stuff that's that's interesting. You know, cross crosses borders. It's not to do with sports, to do with spirituality. It's to do with mentality, uh, you know, sports psychology. And I'm interested in all of that. So let's go. My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. That is literally the first time I've ever seen Bruce Lee talk, which is strange. To the eyes, you would use fingers. Oh, did you see that? Don't worry. <laughs> Do I? Don't worry, he says. Holy shit. This is fantastic. Just look right into the camera lens. My last name is Lee. Bruce Lee. Do the eyes. He's been watching James Bond, hasn't he? Use fingers. Don't. You use fingers for the eyes. <laughs> Do the eyes. Or oh, straight at the face. At the waist. Everything on. Bruce Lee, I was def wow. definitely a fan from a young age. Start off. <laughs> My dad used to have all the Bruce Lee tapes playing, and I think that's kind of where I became a huge Bruce Lee fan. Saw all the movies, Enter the Dragon. Unfortunately, my dad only had 70s music playing. No Bruce Lee tapes. I can't know. You still don't have enough to bust up his operation. Look at his a body. A martial arts expert and film star, Bruce Lee was also a philosopher whose writings have had a profound effect on the father-son football duo of Ed and Christian McCaffrey. I love the movies because of the action, but when I really dove into, you know, what he was saying, I became really fascinated by it because I felt that, you know, a lot of what he said was true, and I think a lot of it went against the grain for his time. That is... Really interesting because, yeah, Bruce Lee, there's a lot of quotes that you read and then underneath it says Bruce Lee. You know, very, very, you know, short but powerful quotes. And so that's something I'm very interested in too because, you know, even just some lines from the Bible, I'm not even going to lie, certain, certain phrases, certain metaphors that we take for granted today, the story of how they actually came to be, is in the Bible, you know what I mean? It's it's really interesting. I don't know who wrote it. I thought Bruce Lee was brilliant and had a lot of wonderful there he theories is. and was an expert at controlling breathing, but also charging your body even while at rest. 
you're on the line of scrimmage, how do you get your body without jumping off sides and having a false start, ready to go while you're moving, while it looks like you're stationary, and then you're exploding from a static position. You have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. There was a famous, you know, one-inch punch that he had where he generated an incredible amount of power in such a short amount of space. And that's very All from the waist. to the sport of football. When you want to move, you're moving. And when you move, you are determined to move. Not taking one inch, not anything less than that. If I want to punch, I'm gonna do it, man. <laughs> Love that guy. Oh! He was definitely ahead of his time. You know, I think the way he trained, his philosophy on life was something to be idolized and something to be modeled after. You push it out, but all the time you are keeping the continuity going. Bending, stretching, everything. What are some of the favorite quotes you apply? Uh, he says, be formless, shapeless like water. Empty your mind. Be formless. Shapeless. shapeless like water. Now you put water into a cup. It, it takes the shape. The cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes... <laughs> Fuck, how can you not love this guy? He's intense. Now wow. It can flow, or it can crash. I'm sorry guys, this is about Christian McCaffrey, but I need to confirm one thing. How did Bruce Lee die? Second cerebral edema brought on by taking, taking Equa Zizek. Um... Is this like a controversy or something? Holy shit! He died on July 20th, 1973 at the age of 32. Okay, there's something going on there. Lee collapsed during an automated dialogue replacement session for Enter the, Enter the Dragon at Golden Harvest in Hong Kong. Suffering from seizures and headaches, he was immediately rushed to Hong Kong Baptist Hospital where doctors di diagnosed cerebral edema. They were able to reduce the swelling through the administration of mannitol. The headache and cere... The headache and edema that occurred in his first collapse were later repeated on the day of his death. Okay, so that was on May 10th. July 20th, two months later, he was in Hong Kong, about to have dinner. According to Lee's wife Linda, Lee met producer Raymond Chow at 2pm at home to discuss the making of the film, Game of Death. They worked until 4pm and then drove together to the home of Lee's colleague, Betty Ting Pei, a Taiwanese actress. The three went over the script at Ting's home and then left, and then Chow left to attend a dinner meeting. Later, later Lee complained of a headache and Ting gave him the painkiller Equa Jessic. Indicated for short term pain treatment accompanied by tension or anxiety in patients with musculoskeletal disorders or tension headache, which contained both aspirin and the tranquilizer Meprobamate. Around 7.30pm he went to lie down for a nap and he did not wake up. He was declared dead. There was no visible external injury. However, according to autopsy reports, Lee's brain had swollen considerably, a 13% increase. On October 15th, the autopsy found equagesic <laughs> in his system. On October 15th, 2005, Chow stated, Chow stated in an interview that Lee died from an allergic reaction to the tranquilizer meprobamate. The main ingredient in equagesic, which Chow described as an ingredient commonly used in painkillers. When the doctors announced Lee's death, it was officially ruled a death by misadventure. It is one that is primarily attributed to an accident that occurred during a risk that was taken voluntarily. In contrast, when a cause of death is listed as an accident, uh, it was probably not voluntarily. Anyway, we're not going to get into that. Okay, so he died from an allergic reaction to a painkiller due to headaches. Okay. Did he take blows to the head? I thought it was hit and not get hit. I'm not sure if he did get hit too much, but anyways, let's continue. Sorry about that. Be water, my friend. Oh, he, he's back. He's back. I love that quote, and it, it, it kind of ties into another quote I love when he says, Notice the stiffest tree is always the first to break, but the bamboo and the willow bend with the wind. That obviously can be applied to life, but in athletics, I've never been the biggest, strongest guy out there, and that quote makes a lot of sense to me. You know, the bamboo and the willow, not the biggest, but they bend with the wind and being able to shift your body into different movements and kind of go with the flow. That is absolutely fantastic insight we just got there. 
And that's exactly what I was talking about at the very start of this video. Alvin Kamara, he's talked about the same kind of things, just not through a Bruce Lee quote. But it's true. The stiffest tree will always break first. And bamboo flows in the wind. Something like that. McCaffrey makes sure people know how important Lee's words are to him. Whether it's with his Twitter background, social media posts about Lee's philosophies, or with the clothes he wears. How do you apply his quotes, his teachings in your daily life? I've always been a competitor, I've always been somebody who wants to win and sometimes I get really upset and I get really hard on myself and down on myself and he talks about being calm and being balanced and I constantly remind myself of those things, you know, whether it's in the game or in life and continue to move on, continue to become the person you set out to be. Running water never grows stale, so you gotta just keep on flowing. <laughs> keep on flowing. <laughs> That guy is an absolute legend. Everyone think. Yeah, nah. Normally I would say, you know, normally I don't really, I guess, agree with people putting all of their faith and all of their following into one man. But a guy like Bruce Lee, the way that he spoke was just epic. It really was. He had some charisma and the skills to match. I absolutely love that video. And I'm probably going to look up Bruce Lee in the future, or at least look up some of his quotes. But with that being said, that was the first video of the day, the first video on Christian McCaffrey. And in the next one, guys, we're going to jump straight in to his 2019 highlights. We've got a 209 yard game, a 153 yard game, a 179 yard game, a hat trick, a 155 yard game, and his full highlights from this year. So with all that being said, I'd better get into it. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And let's watch Christian McCaffrey channel some of that Bruce Lee and uh, be the bamboo in the wind rather than the stiffest tree. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button and I'll see you soon. Peace out. I've been, I've been working to the morning, yeah. yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Vroom, vroom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me.